I'm chef, show, owner chef of Tola Show Ramen and Charcoal Bar. When I was 19, after I graduated high school in Japan, which is Nagoya, that I born and raised in Nagoya. After graduation, my father asked me to go to US. It's not really asking, but he tried to kick me out. Then I was like, yeah, let's do it. So I, I just happened to be in Washington, DC, in the US. There was a very historical couple side of Japanese restaurant has been in DC quite a long time. So I went there. This is how I started my career in the kitchen. And then I never dream or I, I, I never even thought that I even want to be the chef. Good morning. Um, Tobiko. This is uh, Ikura, salmon rock. This is for our <clears throat> very famous signature dish called uh, cold soupy ramen. Yeah, we have a lot of seafood on top of uh, cold ramen. This is uh, from not Japan, but still they call it uh, binchotan, oga binchotan. Binchotan is very popular. You know, it's very strong fire, but it's natural, so it's very hard to buy it anymore. <clears throat> so we are using this oga binchotan. This is uh, the leftover charcoal from yesterday. This is easier to, you know, to be light on. So we put here on the base. It takes about like 45 minutes to hour to be, to be, you know, properly light on. After I'm working overseas, like more than, well, more than 25 years. I'm not only Japanese, but still Japanese, but not anymore. This is Hokkaido Wagyu. We, this is a part of a brisket, you know, the brisket. Everybody loves the brisket, especially people who like to do the barbecues, that kind of stuff, you know. Smoked barbecues is quite popular. This is a special part as well. Some people just braise together, all together as uh, one piece of, uh, one chunk of uh, beef, but we call this is kone in Japanese. It's very special part. It's very uh, tender. The fat is very sweet. So I'm gonna cook something else. I'm gonna use for a different way. Texas barbecue spices. I rub it on the, uh, the beef after we, we cook 48 hours. And then we put on the charcoals. Give them a nice burn, uh, you know, crispy. After I move into Singapore, which is like 12 years ago, after that, I do a lot of things. I open up a lot of Hidi Yamamoto, you know, all over the world. Like, a lot of projects. Mumbai, Manila, Macau, Dubai, South Korea, Taiwan, Indonesia, of course. It's, 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 it's good. It's, it's really life-changing that I earn a lot of diversity of what's going on, what is the local food for them, you know, what is Japanese food for them. So like you, you mentioned, my, maybe, my, maybe my Japanese food is not only authentic, but you know, it has to be something fun for local people, including the Japanese people who's living in locals, you know. For me, this kind of like Tolasho ramen and chakoba is still identity of a Japanese, but it doesn't have to be authentic. Instead, like all of the people, neighborhood, including Singaporean, Caucasians, and Japanese, everyone have to be able to enjoy the taste or maybe vibes. So I made the Tolasho and I like it. This is ramen and chakoba, so we are very casual. We are very much focused on ramen, but not only ramen. There's a variety kind of a ramen, soup ramen, dry ramen, our signature uh, dipping ramen, which is skemen as well. But also in the meantime, we also focus on a lot of bites, including 
you know, top beers, sake and cocktails. This is all because of we want to provide the not super special like Michelin style restaurants, but very comfortable, affordable, but yet it could be something really good. All right, now it's about after two o'clock, our lunch, lunch operation is almost over. So um, I'm gonna make a, a order lunch for tomorrow. We gotta have a photo shoot in for monthly special next month. So I forgot some uh, ingredients to order. So I'm gonna introduce my new secret room here. I just made with my ninja door here because this is, it looks like wall, but I push it. You can see the another room here. So you can be ninja. Uh, this is a website that I'm using to order for the restaurant and private use for the, uh, or, you know, they're called the groceries by Uma Mill. It's really useful. You can find it like very small uh, makers in Japan as well. And it's really cheap, like you see, natto. Me and my wife love it. It's only dollar 40 cents, it's, it's free, man. So I'm gonna order a uh, Mikawa Mirin for tomorrow shooting, which is only I can find in here in Singapore. Uh, Tome Shoyu. It's a transparent soy sauce. It's a very new product in Japan. It's really good. I can only find it here. Then I think I buy some natto. Yeah, done. Lunch operation is over. This is a break time between lunch and dinner. So I'm gonna, um, this is uh, the some products that I get from uh, grocery by Umameo. This is a meeting coming from my hometown. This is a uh, Tome Shoyu. It's getting very popular in Japan as well. It's very new product. So I'm gonna try out some new dishes for the monthly special next month. Botanebi is uh, coming from Hokkaido. It's really good. Very rich. And I'm gonna pour on top of a uh... mm. tensai. Oh shit! Can I have uh, the plastic? Kinjitsu marine sareru yo. Sanan da to shimasu. Okay. Then I keep in chilla for a while. Okay, red beet juice. You know, red beets, water, boil, reduced. Let's say a little bit. Now we use um this soy sauce, transparent soy sauce. Very special. Bit of a sherry vinegar. A bit. We have uh, so we have the marinated like 45 minutes with Mikawa mirin and soy sauce. Meeting. You cannot taste the sauce itself only by sauce, but you have to be soup. Soup and sauce is mixed together and then you need to judge. So that's why being a ramen chef, you have to really control your tummy.
go. Tola show tonkotsu ramen. We have to discuss with the clients that how they they are okay to be served. Like, and then a monthly special could be start from uh, six on uh, Monday, maybe following week. Sambar pork dry ramen definitely we have to do for at least one more month. And we need to activate outside as well. We gotta push for like beer concept. And then weekends we better prepare. We open for all day. I love this team because because one of course I, I we this is we create from scratch. But another thing is like maybe I used to do everything myself, you know, to make sure achieve a perfection. I will change to kind of dry, not that she broke. You will see. Let's say one portion. This this three dishes. We go first in a one plate. Now I change my, my mindset kind of, you know, we are the team. Nobody perfect, but we can always help each other. You know, even myself is not perfect. Maybe my dish can be better with some of the other chef's inspirations, you know. And then especially this is a singing pub. This is melting pot of so many different cultures, uh, races, Japanese, European, and the local uh, respect for Singaporean food cultures, you know. It's very international. And then I think it's supposed to be the directions we follow uh, as we growing up together. Not somebody pull from the top, but we are, you know, stepping up the stairs, staircase together. So this is my kind of base mindset to make this company or Tolashio bigger. Let's try our the beer. It's coming from the website, the Japanese website that I buy the product today. They also have a very interesting like crafted beers from Japan, Miyagi Prefecture. It's really good. I tried these two before, but I never tried these three. So I think it's really good idea to have in uh, the Japanese craft beer, especially for the outdoors, new concept for, uh, you know. So let's try. Maybe you try this. All right, Otsukare. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Otsukare, otsukare. Yes. Damn good. This is really good. <laughs> Cheers. As being a chef in life, if you really focus on your cookings, of course, your personality will be really solid and firm as well, which is that I used to do that. But as I say, like, if I want to go fast, I do myself. If I want to go far, I do with my team, not myself. As everybody know that it's, it's, it wasn't easier. Like we have to face a lot of difficulty of COVID-19, you know, a lot of restrictions, but it's very fortunate and blessing that a lot of people supporting us, including suppliers, 
technologies, human being like friends and our lecturer guests. So I'm still here. I like it. <laughs>